So what is Equilibrium? Well, besides being a very terrible movie from the early 2000s, Equilibrium is the situation where our supply and our demand meet. So we've got a supply curve, upward sloping, label that just with an S. We've got a demand curve, that's downward sloping. We'll label that with a D. Oh, that's the other thing. If we ever have some trouble with remembering which ones are sloping upwards and which ones are sloping downwards, we have some mnemonics right in the words, which is helpful, right? So supply has up right in the name, right? Supply. The slope is positive. It goes up. It's sloping upwards. Demand starts with a D. What else starts with a D? Downward. So demand is always going to slope downwards. So those are a couple of mnemonics for just how to remember which one is sloping up, which one's sloping down. So equilibrium is the magical place where they both meet. And so we draw a reflection from that X marks the spot. And then we label this P star. And this star denotes equilibrium. This is our price over here. This is our quantity over here. So we have a P star. And this price is special because this is the price where, so if we reflect this price off of the supply curve, we get a quantity supplied right here. If we reflect this price off of the demand curve, we get a quantity demand that's right on top of the quantity supplied. So this is the price where everything that's demanded is sold and everything that is sold is purchased. What happens when we're out of equilibrium? Well, what if we were what, what, what if we were to have a price that is too high? So if we have a price that is too high here, right? Well, a price that is too high, when we reflect it off of the supply or off of the demand curve, we're going to end up with a quantity demanded down here, right? Why is that? Law of demand. As the price increases, people are going to consume less of that good. When we reflect that price off of the supply curve, we're going to get an increase from our equilibrium, right? In terms of our quantity supplied. This is because of the law of supply. At higher prices, when we assume that all the input costs don't change, higher prices mean higher profit per unit, which means that the producers are going to squeeze their workers, squeeze themselves in order to produce more. Well, if they're producing more, but the demand is down here, then we have a situation that we call a surplus. And so when you have a surplus, right, if you're a producer and you're in this particular situation, you are essentially losing money, right? You're not selling the goods that you've produced. You've made these goods, they're sitting in your inventory, they might be sitting on a shelf, and they're not being sold. So what are you going to do? Well, you're going to lower the price. Why are you going to lower the price? Well, it costs you money to store this surplus inventory, right? Like land is not free, you know, buildings are not free. Sometimes you have to climate control them. Uh, you have to have a system that's managing and tracking the inventory. And then sometimes it's perishable, right? If it's an agricultural good or something like that, you've got to sell it before it goes bad. Even if it's not perishable, sometimes it's something that might get antiquated, right? So, you know, a DVD player, like who wants a DVD player these days with Blu-ray and everything like that, you know? I mean, even just physical discs are dying out uh, as a medium. 
Um, so, you know, all those people that are sitting on large inventories of even Blu-ray discs, right, are probably thinking to themselves, oh, man, I've got, I've got a surplus here. I've got to lower the price of these things and get rid of them because something's better than nothing. So you want to get rid of them because, again, something's better than nothing. It's costly to store them. And also the demand might evaporate over time. And so the producers, when they're in this situation, they're going to lower the price until we get back to that equilibrium point. Questions on surplus? So what if our price was too low? So if the price is too low, then when we reflect it off the supply curve, we see that a lot of people have decided to close their doors, right? Or cut their hours. Again, the costs of their inputs haven't changed. So now instead of making a dollar on every cup of lemonade or every latte, I'm only making 10 cents. So I'm gonna scale back. I'm gonna conserve my resources. But what's gonna happen to demand, right? At this low price, everybody wants to consume your product so at this low price we have a quantity demand that is all the way out here and a quantity supplied that is all the way down here and so this difference that we have is called a shortage so when the price is too low for something it causes a shortage now sometimes places uh, desire shortages because it creates extra press, right? So, you know, a lot of economists suspected for a while that iPhones, you know, would purposefully not produce enough so that there would be lines and uh, media coverage, because essentially that's free advertisement, right, about the iPhone release. Um, so, but for the most part, right, when shortages are not a publicity stunt, a shortage is a situation where uh, there's going to be more people demanding the good than there are available, right? And so when we see, when shortages happen in the markets, the firms that are existing, right, the firms that are producing are going to see, oh man, my, you know, stuff is flying off my shelf, right? And I've got a bunch of people that are leaving without the good in their hand, or they're leaving my website without purchasing and getting the good shipped to their house, right? And so the producers seeing this are going to go and they're going to increase the price up until that point where, once again, we're at the equilibrium and the quantity supplied is going to equal the quantity demand. So all of this to kind of prove to you that this demand is has a stability to it, right? That if the price increases there's a natural evolution of it coming back down to the equilibrium and if the price decreases there's a natural evolution of it coming up to the equilibrium so a shortage they're going to see oh that's money on the table that i could be making and so they're going to increase the price because there's all these people that want the good but are unable to get it because at the current price there's only this amount being produced. Does that make sense to everyone?